Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you a brand new robot from Jimmu Robot. Now, Jimmu Robot is based off of a series of robots, which included the one that we've seen previously, including Buzzbot, as well as a penguin, and this elephant over here. In addition, it's actually created by a company called Ubitech, which actually makes humanoid robots such as the Alpha 1S. So it should be quite exciting. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a closer look. Dun dun dun! This is actually their brand new Builder Robot Kit, which allows you to build two different robots, such as a claw and a bulldozer. So it's actually really cool, and I'm excited to try it out. But before we do, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box. All right, so this here's our box, and as you can tell on the cover itself, it kind of shows the two robots, and it looks really cool. You know, one's got a claw, and the one's got actually like a bulldozer kind of set up to it. And then you can actually build either two, and you kind of invert it on your own. And then it includes four different, looks like, uh, servos as well. And then you can actually build it and then you can actually code it yourself using the app. So it kind of gives it a nice demonstration on the cover here and it's rated for ages 8 and up. Now if you look on the back here, it'll actually show it in a little bit more details. Saying that in this kit you can actually build the robot and then you can invent your own as well. And then you can always create your own programs and create different custom sequences. So over here it says you can actually change the color of the LED uh, and then you can actually different programs. Uh, and then the actual building app itself is very nice because it can show it step by step on how to actually build it. So this includes four servos as previously mentioned. Uh, this particular kit has an infrared sensor which we haven't seen before as well as a Roigi Biv uh, LED uh, light which kind of lets you customize it in terms of colors. Now there's over 357 snap-on parts although you don't use them all in one robot but it does give you a good amount so you can build your own robot as well. Now you get a main control box as well as a recharging power adapter and there's a quick start guide. So with that being said let's go ahead and open this up a little bit more and see what's on the inside. Alright so let's go ahead and open this up. Now it does open up kind of like a book. Uh, and then once you do, it kind of explains everything in details. So it shows all the different parts again uh, and then tells you how to download the app. Over here is step by step on how to actually do it. So you download the app, you build your robot, then you program it. And then you can always share your robot using the actual community itself. So then we're going to go ahead and open this up by uh, pulling on this tab right over here. And then it should open up like so. And now over here shows all the different parts that it includes as well as the different sensors. Kind of giving you an idea of what's included. Now the nice thing about this setup is everything is kind of nicely labeled. So like this here is our quick start guide. Uh, and then you can just go ahead and open this up here and I'll show it detailed steps here. So this is a very nice detailed uh, manual explaining all the different things in case you get confused or if you need more help. So it's great with troubleshooting. Uh, and then here's all the different parts as well. Uh, so you just go ahead and take out the power adapter first. Uh, and then you have connectors in which, you know, you look at them, everything is nicely packed, uh, color, uh, color organized, so it's actually very nice and very easy to use, and you know, everything's kind of set up there. So let's go ahead and open up the app now and see how this all plays out. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the app now and kind of see what this is all about. Uh, so we'll actually start loading up and then you can go ahead and click on model. Now this will actually show all the different models that they offer. So you know you can see that they have like a rover, an astrobot, the penguin that I showed you earlier, as well among a few others. So if we scroll all the way to the left here, we can go ahead and pick the one that we want to do. In this case I want to actually build a grabber bot. So I'm going to click on that and then it'll actually load up the robot itself. Now this app actually has a nice 3D perspective of it in which if you go into actions you can actually demonstrate different actions by pressing it and it'll show like an animation of it. So it's really cool. Now what we want is going to build. Now the way build works is it'll actually show you step by step on how you can actually build a robot. And it's actually very nice. So for instance if I'm stuck at this part here I can actually rotate it and see what they want me to do by zooming in and zooming out. So it really does make it very easy to build a robot. So with that being said, let's go ahead and queue up that montage and build ourselves a robot. Alright, so our builder bot is finally ready and this guy looks really cool. 
Now, he does have a lot of different colors and a lot of different things going on. Uh, he has a cool looking claw right here and then he has an LED in the actual eye itself as well as an infrared sensor and then he actually has uh, these cool looking trails to almost make it look like a tank. So it's got a very constructive look to it and it almost looks like it's out of space as well. So let's go ahead and load this up. Now this says, congratulations, you finished your grabber bot. Let's see what it can do. So let's go ahead and turn them on. Uh, so there's an on button right here in the back. And then uh, as you can tell, his LEDs are going through. You can actually see the different colors kind of swinging through there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my Bluetooth now so I can actually connect to him. Uh, so here we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on tap to search. Uh, this is gonna search for our Jimu and there he is. And now it is connecting, uh, and we are all connected. <laughs> Sweet. Um, so shows you all the different servos on here, so you can take a look at that. So this will actually show you uh, just about everything that's connected with the actual robot. So we actually have the infrared sensor, we have the LED eyes showing which number is connected to, uh, and then all the different servos. So let's go ahead and click back. Uh, and then we actually have a 3D picture and then we can actually see how the actual robot looks. So let's go ahead and make him do a grab. <laughs> so very cool. Uh, and then we can actually do different things as well. So this is standby. And then this will be a uh, grab. And then this here is prepare. Uh, this is place. And then, actually you kind of put them a little further back so you can see. Uh, this is happy. <laughs> uh, and then this is push away. Uh, move forward. So that was move forward. Uh, so really cool looking uh, design with this. Uh, now this is gonna be back up. And then this is gonna be turn left. And then turn right. Angry. <laughs> I always love the animations with the Jimu Robot series. They're actually quite entertaining to see. Uh, this is open. <laughs> and then uh, let's go ahead and put him back into standby mode. And let's see if he can actually grab something. Alright, so let's go ahead and try a challenge here. I'm going to go ahead and put Cosmos Block right over here. And let's see if he can actually grab it. So we're going to go ahead and move him forward. Uh, and then I'll move him slightly to the left. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. And then uh, let's go ahead and have him grab. Oh, success. And there you go. Uh, our grabber bot just grabbed it and... <laughs> so yeah, I uh, pretty much grabbed it and that's awesome. So good job, grabber bot. All right, so in addition to the basic actions that we went over, you can actually create your own action. You just go ahead and drag and drop a servo and then you can actually control it just like that. So what you do is you create your own sequences in which you can actually play out your own action. So it's actually quite interesting. Now, if you go back here, you can actually go ahead and click on record. This allows you to record your actual uh, sequences so you can share with your friends. So it's very nice and it's very easy to use. Now, if you go into coding, coding is a more or less the if then situation where you can actually create your own actions as well as your own program. So this creates a very nice educational tool in which allows you to utilize the robot completely, which includes the infrared sensor as well as the actual eyes itself. Now it's really easy to use with the whole drag and drop method and then you just go ahead and click play and you can actually create your own programs. Now besides that you can actually go ahead and create your own controller and you can customize it so you can actually play it as if it's an RC car. Now this car is actually really easy to use. Uh, I really do enjoy the actual Jim and Robot series. I think they're always like quite well done. Especially this one here, it looks very nice and it does look like a, almost like an outer space kind of construction kind of utility. And it does have a bit of a personality with the eye uh, as well as the claw itself. 
All right, well, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if there's anything you want to see or if you have any questions about the actual Builder bot, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.